Louis Laveau, born in 1612, passing away in 1670, was a French Baroque architecture who was most notably coined with creating a French classical style that dominated the academic architecture of the 17th century. Louis Laveau was born in Paris to the son of a master mason and also born into a family of already highly esteemed architects and builders. Laveau achieved an impressive reputation as a designer of private estates and was famous for his opulent interior designs and majestic proportions. By 1639, he made a name for himself as a successful architect. Laveau was more interested in the overall effect of grandiosity than in properly applying the classical idiom to structural problems. Early on in his career, Laveau designed townhouses for a number of wealthy patrons, including Sancot, Heslin, and Jean-Baptiste Lambert. Struggling to make a name for himself after the construction of his townhouses, Laveau moved his focus to more notable buildings such as hotels. Iconically, the Hotel Lambert put his name on the map, constructed in 1639 to 1644. The Hotel Lambert reveals the architect to be a brilliant innovator in adjusting an imaginative plan to a highly irregular site. In 1654, Laveau was welcomed by the king as first architect, which eventually catapulted him into limelight. Three years later, he received from Nicolas Foucault the important commission for the Chateau of Veuve la Vicomte -Aimée. During the 1660s, with his time largely consumed with royal projects, he eventually made time to work on other buildings such as the Chateau of Vincennes, a hospital in Paris, and also the rebuilding of the Louvre's gallery, which had been destroyed by a fire in 1661. After the completion of the gallery, he then designed and erected a new south wing of the Louvre. From 1661 until his death, Laveau worked sporadically at Versailles. Initially, his work was confined to altering the chateau built by Louis VIII in 1624, but later he added wings to the sides of the forecourt. After the forecourt was created in 1668, he then went on to create the famous envelope which completely cloaked the garden facade of the older structure in magnificent, monumentally scared classical dress. The grand staircase, designed by Laveau, which is pictured here, was constructed after his death, but to this day, it is considered one of the most impressive in Europe. One of his final and most enduring contributions was his design of the Institut de France in Paris. It is unique to France and embodying in its plan and elevation many principles of Roman Baroque architecture, as practiced by the likes of Cortona and Borromini. The design reflects Laveau's constant quest for visual grandeur. As you know by now, Laveau demonstrated a strong affinity with Italian Baroque, the sacred architecture of the Baroque period that had its beginnings in the Italian paradigm of the basilica with cross domes and naves. But what exactly makes up Baroque style, you ask? Well, that would be its complicated shapes and breaking out of the box, extreme ornamentation, often with gold, large elliptical forms, twisted columns, grand stairways, high domes, ornate, ornate open pediments, interest in light and shadows, and often decorative sculptures. Mm -hmm. 
Laveau, just like many of us in the architecture field, however, couldn't have got to where he was without inspiration and precedence of the likes of Bernini and Borromini. Bernini was a master Baroque architect in Rome. Most notably, St. Peter's Square was one of his greatest achievements. Drawing the influence of Mannerist artists, Bernini created swirling dynamic compositions of his sculptures that were meant to be viewed from all directions, inviting the viewer to be part of a scene. Energy and movement are essential to his composition. A highly religious man with distinct intensity of character, Bernini wished to impart a sense of theatrical and drama elements that would move his spectators and leave them in awe. Much like Bernini, Borromini's architecture also adapted classical elements to more innovative architecture that was defined by organically curving lines and a complicated interplay of geometrical forms. All this goes to say that we see a lot of these elements in Laveau's architecture. Whether we're looking at the Louvre or Versailles or even the townhouses he built for royal families, ornaments and styles from the likes of Bernini and Borromini are very clearly shown in his work, yet with a modern twist. From Laveau's extreme ornamentation to his twisted columns and even most notably his grand stairway, all of these elements point back to Baroque and point back to the traditions set forth before him.